how to set the share buffers for better performance. The default memory sizes of share buffer found in PostgreSQL configuration file are not optimized for performance for any typical configuration. They are optimized only so that the server can start on a system with low settings. When we talk about Postgres architecture, we saw that when we start a Postgres server, it allocates a fixed size block of share memory. All access to the information in the database will pass through this share memory. In addition to the share memory, each client that connects to Postgres will use its own bit of memory. Each client can expand its own memory for use cases such as sorting space and storing data for pending transaction to commit. Share buffer is a major component of the share memory used by the server. It is a large block allocated for caching blocks when reading from and writing to the database. It is set by using a parameter named surprise share buffer. The main topic of this section is to see how this memory is used and how to optimize it. It is one of the most important parameters to get good performance and one of the hardest to predict an optimum value for. If you're used to a database where most of the system RAMs is given to the database and the operating system cache is bypassed, you don't want to set up Postgres in the same way. It will be counterproductive in some areas. For example, Postgres store commit log information in the PGC log directory. This data is read and written regularly, therefore it's assumed that the operating system will take care of optimizing that access. So why not give all the RAM to the operating system? The main reason that the PostgreSQL share buffer cache can do better than the operating system cache is the way it keeps a usage count of the buffers. This allows buffer to get a popularity score from 1 to 5 and the higher the score, the less likely is that those buffers will leave the cache. Whenever the database is looking for something to evict to make space for the data it needs, it decreases that usage count. Every increase in the usage count makes the block harder to get rid of. This implementation is called the clock sweep algorithm. Typical operating system caches will only give buffers one or two chances before the data is evicted. Usually, the operating system will use some sort of least recent used algorithm. If your database has data which is used frequently, it's likely that the data is being served better staying in the database share RAM rather than in the operating system. You've seen how using a block will increase its usage count. You also seen how a dirty block make its way out to disk. This wasn't intended just as an academic knowledge. Believe it or not, all this information is useful for determining how large your share buffer cache should be.